Welcome, 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 dear all, to twitch.tv slash Cheddar. This is Stammer Stream, Manga Podcast, and Speech Therapy Combined. I'm your stammering host, Winsleydale Cheddar, here alongside your non-stammering host, Grail9. How are you doing this week, mate? Tired. Yeah. Works hard, and I've got put into a new position where I'm constantly leaning back, like, you know... People always wish, oh, I wish I was taller, I could reach all the high shelves, but they never think the downside. I mean, you're going to be banging your head on the lamps and doorways. If you ever got to crouch down slightly because all the workstations are made for people shorter than you, then you're going to have a serious back pain problem. You know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows being tall. Yeah, you've just reminded me when when I uh, got my dream bunk bed uh, when I was at a uh, at a LARP camp. Uh, I uh, it it was my childhood dream. I um I specifically wanted uh, the top of the bunk bed. Uh, oh, it's so cool! It's so cool! I dreamed of this all my life, and uh, and then uh, and then it turns out that I constantly have to uh, bang my head on on the ceiling. Uh, not so great when I think about it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Caster uh, sh- should be um, joining us sometime soon. He has to get off the train from God knows where. Uh, but in the meantime, so do you want to talk about? Uh, do you want to talk about One Piece, chapter eight hundred eighty-eight? Yes. What a number! And uh, and what uh, what events transpired this week? But because I uh, I read the chapter, but I don't exactly remember. Well, as soon as I get the first page, my browser starts fucking up. Stop fucking <laughs> up? Yeah. First off, cover page stuff, more EDO, and, well, no one cares about EDO. Or yeah, do you? Th- th- this wasn't... This seems to be the uh, the final page in in the um, in the EDO arc, but, yeah, it's, it wasn't very, very entertaining. I mean, okay, so... Uh, whoa, uh, he's a long arm, and uh, the other guy, wh- whose name I don't remember, is a long leg. What wacky shenanigans uh, might they uh, come across together? And uh, yeah. They come across a long arm, long leg conflict and say, fuck it, we're not part of this, and leave. <laughs> and now he's apparently a pirate. Uh, I thought he already was, but then again, I never really paid any attention to his character. Yeah, th- uh, th- th- this, is, this is kind of... Uh, this is kind of the uh, what what I wanted my ODR equivalent of. Uh, uh, I wanted uh, once I wanted to make a non-violent equivalent of uh, one one punch man uh, as a character in ODR. Uh, so, uh, I want I wanted to be uh, to be this girl scout who constantly uh, starts. Uh, Starts up uh, plots, various conspiracies, and uh, and so on, so on and so forth on uh, on uh, the islands she visits on her uh, her adventures, and then she just uh, goes away b- before the climax happens. That sounds like a uh, well, on concept, a bad idea. Well, like saying, okay, here's all this interesting stuff. Well, they're not interested anymore. Let's move on. <laughs> well, uh, but we're uh, spending uh, way too much time on fucking talking idio. Idio do- doesn't deserve much time. Uh, yeah, but... Yeah. Uh, so we start up with mm-hmm. Luffy and Karakuri. Because they're just kind of facing off with Karakuri going like, Why didn't you come back? Like, do you want to, to get not shamed? Or do you want to join me? Beg for it? And Luffy's just usual. I'm here to beat you. Well, d- uh, don't you know what I'm what I'm here for? After, after all, you can see the future. Ooh. Uh, I'm. Also, I just love Big Mom's cat of both how they act now. Yes, I, I'm now. <laughs> I, I, I'm now on the freaking page uh, where I'm sorry. I'm now on the freaking page where, where uh, cannonballs with faces fly at the at the thousand sunny. Uh, this is so great. And now he tells them, I don't, "Hey, straw hats are that way." <laughs> <laughs> they just jumped, uh, jumped to the side. How does this physics? <laughs> <laughs> it's Looney Tunes physics. You think the faces would already be a dead giveaway? Yeah. Uh. So I'm, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, um, yeah. I'm kind of waiting for Big Mom uh, to, to, 
uh, uh, to come back to her senses soon enough, but because uh, yeah, uh, yeah, she's, she's, she's kind of been removed in. as a from the conflict as a character. Yeah, ever since or her flashback. Even a threat really after that chase on the island when they just, like rammed the thunderbolt of Zeus up her ass and she just stood right back <laughs> up. Yeah. Well, we didn't really get uh, anything interesting from her uh, ever since that flashback. Um, I, I, I suppose it, it was a it was a great flashback. So uh, so so I suppose maybe we've had uh, a fill of her for the moment. Uh, st uh, still, for for a, oh. for the main villain, I I would like to see more of more of her right now instead of just shouting wedding cake. Well, this part also it's. I mean, it's supposed to build up how big of a threat this is with all these ships in front and in the back, but somehow it's just not conveyed too well. Like, strats aren't really t seeming like they're pressure despite this innumerable odd, so. Yeah. I just don't feel a threat here despite this. Yeah, I, gu I guess that uh, with Nami and with Jinbei, th they can navigate better and thus um, and thus avoid potential damage better. But uh, but still, uh, it's it's the whole bloody army of uh, uh, of um, big mom pirates. So yeah, uh, I, I see. And I then see the trace burner, the castrated ones, carrot goes Super Saiyan. Uh, yeah, he, it's he... fucking Super Saiyan. I mean, don't lie. Hair grows, it happens in full moon. Yes, I know that was all Zoro, but shut the fuck up. <laughs> and she gains immense power because she's from a specific race of animalistic people. It's Super Saiyan. Okay, so we should we should probably have uh, Castor and Milo for this moment, uh, since they were gushing, gushing over that moment when it happened. Um... Uh... I'm. Uh, I mean, wh wh first, what do you think about it? It is immensely cool, but like I said, because the threat here really wasn't felt that tangible, it doesn't have nearly as much of an impact. Yeah, and uh, for me, I don't particularly like that moment uh, right now, si since uh, we just met Minx and uh, they uh, they were understood to be. Uh, Fucking powerful in their own right, even without uh, the potential um, moon monster point form. And uh, with, um, yeah, carrots, uh, uh, carrots. I think went toe to toe with uh, with uh, Zoro one time. I'm, I mean, well, they, they just clashed for a minute there. But um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't toe to toe. Ah. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know. The, uh, I don't know. Uh, they, they seemed on a pretty even level, un uh, unless I remember something incorrectly. Uh, you know, it just seems like she got clowned by Peril's Peril or Karakuri, so Zoro is around the level of Luffy, who still held his own against those, so I hmm. think that would be kind of a mixed power scale. Yeah, I, uh, if any, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I don't re recall which one it was, but, uh, but, uh, either Castor or, um, or Milo said that, uh, no, 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 it, it was Castor, yeah, uh, that, uh, he, d he didn't uh, exactly get it before, but, but, uh, but, uh, now he sees why, uh, why Carrot, uh, why Carrot could be a potential straw hat, and, I don't exactly see it since this power, this power up, in a in a way maybe makes her less interesting to me. Again, again, I haven't read the chapter in a while, so so I find it difficult now to uh, maybe focus my thoughts. But huh, it. So we have to say, Carrot in that form looks pretty fucking badass. Oh, she, she looks cool. Um, it's it's still not enough for me. Um, it's still not enough for me to, to uh, yeah, uh, to maybe consider her potential straw hats. Uh, uh, well, not in this arc, definitely. Since we already got Jim Bay. Uh, uh, um, I I still don't see her. Um, I still don't see her dream, except um, except maybe uh, go and go out and see the world, which which by the way is 
the most the most prototyp the most prototypical uh, uh, original character do not steal um, dream for One Piece. Uh, th then um, she doesn't exactly have a tragic backstory. Um, she uh, more so has a tragic present um, with Pedro gone and and so on and so forth. So um, I'm I'm waiting to see what's uh, going to become of this, but for now uh, I'm going to give it a slight nee. Yeah, it was okay, but you know, for One Piece, I usually expect more than okay. Yeah. Uh, I, su I suppose we ju we just have to wait for uh, wait for the Brits to uh, to yeah <laughs> to voice the voice the um, well objection to our opinions. Eh, we'll see. But if that's all, then we got Doctor Snow, 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 Doctor Snow. So let's move on to Doctor Stone chapter thirty nine. And oh god, Ginro's heel turn is hilarious. <laughs> no, before that, the cover page. I mean, this is just perfect. The red really pops out of the blue background. I love the jet boots and jet belts that they got on. You can even see the village down there in the snow, and Suika in a Santa hat looks adorable, even with the reindeer riding on that sleigh with her. Uh, I. Uh, I accidentally closed the uh, close the page, so ah, here it goes. Yeah, but d did you see last week's cover page though? Yeah, the one with them holding the flame. Yeah, and uh, and, and the one the one with um, the one with uh, Ko Kohaku's uh, impossible pose. Yeah, th uh, th this. Yeah, this I'm kind of used to that stuff. Yeah, uh, though, 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 yeah, this is very cool. Uh, although, although I'm wondering if, um, if the, if the Suica helmet is going to become, is going to be repaired or re remade. Um, after, well, I mean, they got the lenses, so just find another melon. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, so, so in any case, um. Uh, as I said, the Ginro heel turn is hilarious. <laughs> Just the fact that he's such a good boy doing it is, is even greater. Uh, then I'll have yeah, a his harem. face is there like, that guy, what drugs is he on, and can I have some? <laughs> uh, caffeine, uh, from from what Senka said a few chapters ago. Um... But I, I just, I just love how he goes, uh, and then I'll have a harem. But one ju just for me would be so weird. So there's gonna be harems for everyone. Yeah, and it's all. I'm also gonna have every JP all the ramen you can eat. Like, who's gonna make that much? But of course, the one fatty is like, that sounds great. <laughs> and of course, this unites the whole village in saying that this guy can't be the chief. No way, never. Well, in uh, in in some ways, in the in the weirdest way possible, uh, he uh, he kind of yeah contributes to the team so much since since this gets uh, the village on Senku's side. But like you know, that's what Suika thinks. But Kinro and Kohaku know that no, he didn't do this out of. Of being a good guy, he was a, just a fucking moron and selfish asshole. Yeah, the the, the intention was clear, but uh, e even, no. even even so, uh, the, there is a nice side to Ginro uh, as uh, as he yeah uh, as he talks to Ruri before and uh, and says to her not to worry, and and then she she, she just has to answer, oh no no no, uh, I I'm impartial, I don't care who who wins, uh, uh, and well, uh, you really don't care. <laughs> All right then. Yeah, well, Jas even Jasper only think like, learn to read between the goddamn lines, you fucking idiots. <laughs> Seriously, how has this guy not died already? This is a stone world. Healthcare won't take take care of this idiot. <laughs> and also, wasn't he like shitting himself just a little while ago and kind of unable to fight, and yet now he's just swinging it away happily. Well, um. 
Well, I, su- I suppose, in, uh, I suppose now that he's uh, gone to relieve himself, and uh, now, uh, or he's got everything out of his system, basically. Yeah, but even then, it was a whole deal that Chrome has to be the one to beat Magma because they don't have anyone else coming afterwards. Yeah. Uh, Still, he ends up in a way that I just love, you know. Lever right to the nuts. Yep. 125 kilometers per hour, dick to the balls. Yeah, and and this this makes everyone applaud for, for Senku, and he's gonna need the support because, yeah, there is an there is a slight, unexpected side to this chapter. Yeah. No. Oh, also, before that, also I love it. That it's like, Chrome throws in the helmet, and of course, Ginro's like, I'm not gonna let you use that flame thing. And even I'm thinking, like, how would that help in here, really? And now I'm just gonna use it to more leverage. Boom to the balls. Yeah. Uh... But yeah, turns out, yeah, Chrome was kind of blacked out after that strain. So, yeah, Senku's the new village chief. Yeah, which I'm wondering. Uh, so, so is. Uh... Is is he like the chief elect, or uh, or is uh, or is uh, Rory's dad uh, going to yeah uh, going to step down immediately? Which which by the way I, I which I, by the way I would think that uh, that he would uh, he should have the opportunity to participate in the tournament for re-election. I'm going to guess that because it has the shamanesses or priestess's husband has to be a chief that he can't really marry his own daughter. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, guess, I guess it works. But uh, I'm just I'm just now wondering if uh, if Senku's going to be the prince of the village or uh, or if, um, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the the heir to the throne or, um, um, yeah, or just, uh, he, means... he immediately becomes the ruler. Well, I would think that since their plan was that that way they can get the medicine to Ruri that this is more or less happening pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Okay. I... So I do also love Seng. Even Senku's like, with everyone is shocked about Senku becoming the chief, and even he's like, "What? <laughs> he did not expect this." Yeah, the, I think I'm. Uh, I'm most uh, like the uh, the look of uh, on Jasper's face. Oh god! I'm pretty uh, sure that's not Jasper. Or what do you mean, Jasper's in the? Well, uh, the when world. when he announces it, and and j- just just his face starts sweating, and then he just face palms. Oh god! Oh yeah, that one is Jasper's. Yeah, I thought you were referring to Kohaku's dad on the next page, but I I, I yeah. keep I keep confusing them. They are very similar, but uh, but yeah. Uh, now, uh, b- by the way, uh, Jasper, c- I mean, Jasper kind of won me over this chapter, but because I like the little look of approval uh, he has on his face, uh, just that little smile of respect that he has for Chrome. After well, he already had like disrespect for Magma. You could see that when he announced Magma as winner after his fight with Kinro. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It's, it seems clear that that he uh, he cares for Rui. Oh god, yeah, this manga can still surprise me every single chapter, and I wonder how long it's gonna last this way. Yeah, and I do wonder where this is going, like, Senku already said that he's not interested in romance at all, and now he acquired the chief's position and a marriage partner. Yeah. <laughs> I should look all back there. Yeah, I, I, I still love those captions, but yeah. yeah. I am just looking forward to seeing how this goes, even the immediate effects, and how will Chrome react to this, knowing that he just missed his chance to be with Ruri? Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I'm now wonder. I'm now wondering if maybe uh, we're gonna focus on uh, on some more characters and uh, that were established in the village. May- maybe um, maybe have a new, um, maybe have a new faction that that's uh, that's gonna be um, some sort of enemies to um, um, or opponents to Sanku. So, That's uh, possible. Yeah, so, so very good chapter, and uh, yeah, yeah. So shall we move on to food walls? Yeah, let's. This was actually one chapter I was looking forward to discussing. 
Mm -hmm. This is very surprising. Uh, yeah, and... Yeah, go on. Now, like, first, I love that Subaru still continues to assist them even though he's been knocked out of the tournament. In a way that kind of makes sense, you consider what he did earlier. Yeah, it uh, it's it's kind of it's kind of firstly good strategy uh, when you when you have when you have a player on your side that, that can copy your enemies. Uh, secondly, uh, who who would have expected that Subaru of all people uh, was going to be the MVP of this team? Well, kind of, yeah. I mean. I'm guessing without Subaru, Solo would have just lost. Yeah, and and it's very good that that they emphasize it, uh, since it um it gives you, uh, it gives you some more uh, some more tension to it, uh, and it, it makes it more believable that uh, he could defeat uh, someone from the Elite Ten. Uh, uh, you know, you know what? Ne uh, never mind. He already defeated Kinakuni. Um, I mean, um, this. Also, I d really did like um, Food Wars becoming Bleach uh, for a moment. It, it it was kind of cool. Yeah, well, well, maybe Bleach, but I'm thinking this image isn't like limited to just Bleach. Yeah, the I... whole field of swords. Yeah, I'm... but I do love the metaphor of he uses just everyone he's gone up against as a stepping stone, learns from them. And uses all that to do the beating. Even use the apple punching glove. Yeah, then he then he just have a wooden rifle all of a sudden, and uh, I'm just wondering. Okay, so is this still a sword duel? Okay, okay, we're we're, we're out of this metaphor now. Uh, yeah, I mean it's Soma. He'd probably still be bring that into a sword duel. He's just that kind of you know. Yeah. I, I was wondering about uh, the last chapter. I, I was pretty skeptical of it since, uh, okay, we're going to we're going to have this. Uh, so I could only de um, I this would this would be too bad if I could only defeat you with uh, with one blade. So, so maybe, uh, of course. Uh, so uh, he shows that he's stronger than than they all uh, thought. But uh, yeah, I keep got trick to it, but yeah, but yeah. but. Uh, yeah, but, um, as long as it's explained uh, that okay, so, so um, he actually had the support of uh, um, of uh, all his um, teammates, uh, and, uh, and not and th just that. Is... Like he's also learned from all his opponents. Yeah, um, and this is what led him to victory. Uh, so th this is a co okay and metaphor. Uh, I I did like this chapter. And one more thing that. It shows that panel from when he got accepted in the academy and was there giving that speech. And it kind of recontextualized that one line that you're all just stepping stones on my way. Like, at the time it was like, yeah, I'm an asshole. <laughs> but now it's like, I'm going to learn from each something from each and every one of you. You will be my stepping stones for, to me becoming a better chef. Yeah, the, Chef. yeah. This kind of sh shows how how long away uh, he's come since then. Uh, kind of, uh, kind of like uh, I would compare this to Zoro uh, in the in the first chapters, uh, saying that um, yeah, if if Luffy gets in his way uh, to uh, achieving his dream, uh, then he will have no problem uh, no problem but to uh, cut him down as well. Uh, and then, and then uh, in Thriller Bark, he uh, he sacrifices, uh, um, he all but sacrifices himself for uh, for Luffy. So yeah, I, I was already thinking you were gonna go for the like when he first fought Mihawk. He was already saying like, I'd rather die than retreat. And then later, he's begging in front of Mihawk because he's just not strong enough. Like he had his pride above all else, but now he was just ready to throw his pride away for. Yeah, uh, the, yeah. The, the moment, uh, the moment before the time skip uh, is also a very good comparison. Yeah. Oh. And even that final panel of Soma just taking off his headband, he seems so relieved. Like this took a toll on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't easy. Su surprisingly, with the build up we got, the, the, this was uh, the the last chapter was a surprising. Surprising, uh, well, kind of improvement. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like this duel now. 
so, uh, shall we I'm move on to... Uh, uh, something else to say? No, I was just say I'm not usually a big fan of Food Wars. Like, I just read it on the side. But this time, I was genuinely happy to read it. Yeah. But, yeah. Let's move on. To or My Hero Academia. Chapter 163. So, the... Uh, so, the... Uh, UA students come back to... Uh, come back to UA. Uh, and... And yeah, we we got um, a bit of a moment for uh, for Ida. Uh, well, for everyone, really. Yeah. I'm so worried over them. Yeah. Uh, even even so, I um I do I do like that they touch upon um how Ida was worried about um about about Deku before, and uh, yeah, this kind of com comes back to it. Yeah. Also, a nice moment that. Ajiro is the one to talk to Kurishima, but most of all, asking if he's okay. Yeah. I mean, we'd already touched upon that those two came from the same school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, uh, this this is only a little moment, and the, uh, the, then she just mo moves on to uh, to a rab to a rabbit she got from Koda, apparently. <laughs> yeah, well, we saw that rabbit earlier in Koda's room when they had that competition. Yeah. Uh. I I also <laughs> I also find it funny how Uraraka they actually addressed that Uraraka was the one carrying Naitai and that uh, she might have contributed to his death, which is kind well, of hilarious. Well, Aizawa at least tried to say like, okay, this was not your fault. <laughs> and I still hope that this is used later on, like her again reaffirming herself in. That whole "I want to save people" line. Yeah. But Horikoshi just hasn't used her too well recently. Yeah, I uh, um, I recently bought the um the first volume that that came out in Polish, um, of My Hero Academia. Oh, they're translating it there. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Um. The. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, j just talk about the, ch the chapter, and I'll, I'll bring it and uh, and show it um, to the camera. Okay. All right. Sure. Except I can't see the camera anyway, so. Anyway, yeah. We all then just pretty much go to people going to sleep because Bago goes off because he's a sour puss, and they also know that for some reason. Todoroki goes up early because of a message he received, which we pretty soon find out it was from his dad, so... Yeah. Endeavor is coming over to see the provisional license exam. And, even worse, All Might's gonna be one of their escorts for it. Yeah. I cannot see this going well. Uh, we also got, we also got this, um... I th I think it's not Toga, but uh, but the 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 girl that Toga was posing as, right? Well, it's hard to tell which one because there is no difference. And besides, if she wasn't what is like in this training, what does she think happened in the provisional license exam? Yeah, I, I hope I hope it's not Toga, but be, be, because we we've had. Uh, we've had a lot of her recently, so... Um, yeah, that is true, but I still think, like, it could be interesting to see what Toga does here. Like, is she just gonna do this legit and keep observing, or if she's gonna fuck shit up? Yeah, and... Uh, okay, so so Deku and Uraraka and, uh, and Sero all know that... Uh, all knew her identity back then, right? Uh, so... So, uh, Wait, who's so the identity? I mean, um, I mean, uh, this this disguise of hers that, that she uh, she posed as um, as the member of um, of of that alpha school, right? No, they just knew that they thought she this was the member of the other school with no idea that Toga was in any way involved. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. she only showed up in that guise during the whole exam. And only took on her toga form after the exam was over, and she had already left. 
Okay. Okay, now, uh, now I remember, yeah. Okay. Is it, so she, so she, never, now... she never revealed herself to Deku, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, uh, okay, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I can't, I can't, um, I can't tell right now if, uh, from her behavior if this is supposed to be Toga. But, uh, coming, uh, coming back to the volume, uh, wh which I have here right now, uh, I know you can't, I know you can't see it, but. Well, I got the English translated volume on my shelf. J let me grab that one. It's. Okay, so so it's interesting because at the very end, uh, I have uh, page. Uh, the the very last one uh, with the uh, uh, with the assistance uh, with a thank you to the assistance. I I kind of found it funny uh, how in my translation at least uh, uh, he managed to um, to he managed to uh, say something just a little bit sexist to, to every female member of his team. Uh, I'm not gonna bother to tra translate uh, translate it now, but uh, but yeah, th this this kind of shows a shows a little um, shows a little bit of um, what problems we might have in, uh, with the uh, with uh, with s some u uh, some use of female characters. Oh well. Well, I also did mention that. This is not probably going to be the best time since All Might and Endeavor are together, and Endeavor is initiating the talk. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, he's now the number one hero. Uh, so yeah. and He does not look happy, but then again, that's pretty much the default mood of Endeavor, so... Yeah. Not going to read too much into that. Yeah, he, he's only... Everyone's really like, just like, I'm going to go buy coffee. Bye! Not taking part in this shit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I uh, I also uh, I also look forward to uh, Bakugo and uh, and Endeavor interacting so, since the they're so similar in some respects. Yeah, like don't you mention those two are really similar? Yeah, uh, the, uh, I think I think <laughs> someone I know mentioned that uh, that uh, Bakugo is uh, is kind of the Endeavor uh, to to maybe Deku's All Might to this generation. Uh, so, uh, is this all we need to mention, or, um, anything else? No, not really. This was kind of a transitionary chapter, but it had some good moments in there. Yeah, yeah it was fine. Uh, Actually, I didn't even notice that, but Zero got... Did I stab me in the eye by Kirishima when he grabbed Kirishima? Uh, it's it's not just Kirishima. by uh, it's not not just by Kirishima, but accidentally by, by the horns in his head, <laughs> which is yeah, fucking great. Like, I didn't even notice that, but that's really funny detail. Yeah, he's even closing that eye in a pa two panels after. Hmm, I, yeah, I, I I like the I like this little character details we uh, we have like. Uh, uh, like uh, like when Kaminari ch uh, charges everyone's phones, this is also great. Uh, so uh, Black Clover. Yeah, I guess. All right. So chapter one hundred and thirty-seven. I haven't got a lot to say, but so isn't this like the second time in a row where Mirio Leona uses a finishing move on on Liar? Okay, I I like the first one. It, it looked cool, but I like some variety with my, with my shonen, along with a dash of tension. Silver play. Yeah, like this was me just lo going. Wow, she's so awesome and cool. Look at her go. She can't be beaten. Oh wow. Yeah. Are we done yet? Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. One One Piece and, ha One Piece has this extended fight with Katakuri right now, and uh, every single chapter manage manages to uh, to get some tension to uh, uh, to uh, kind of be a little different in a way, um, uh, and ev even whilst uh, while stretching it out uh, over several chapters, and um, uh, yeah. w with this, and I'm bored after the second that. one. Yeah, I mean, at, at the first one I see, well, maybe that's just like 
they're gonna reveal that this guy has some like once he copies the magic he can't be hurt by it like he's like Aski Naklevar or something but now he's just boring I mean even the one thing that had me thinking like okay this could be interesting is when he copies Asta's anti-magic sword but now nah, he just copied his appearance it was nothing and Mary Olinola immediately punched through it because he she just apparently knew that it couldn't copy the magic itself, just the appearance. Yeah. Well, copy the anti-magic itself. Yeah, th uh, this would be... If if he uh, successfully managed to use it to, as a deterrent, uh, as, a, as a kind of Osamu-like tactic, uh, as a kind of... Uh, okay, okay you, you see the appearance of... Um, um, uh, of of powerful uh, of powerful magic, uh, just just its presence is is enough to uh, to maybe make her wary and uh, and and thus make a make a bit of a mistake. Uh, but no. Oh, I guess fair enough. We'll we'll, we'll see what happens um, next chapter. So, uh, Lies flashback. Do we want to talk about this? Uh, I forgot it happened even, so not uh, much to say. So, so basically, so basically, uh, so basically, it's uh, Lyre talking to Leashed. Uh, yeah, he uh, he discovers yeah that he has imitation magic. Uh, it's, it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of the um, it reflects his kindness. According to uh, to Leashed, um, he. Uh, he watches uh, others carefully and um, and thus truly loves others. Creepy. Uh, so, uh, so it's um, so it's uh, not something you can use uh, unless you uh, watch people with sincerity. And uh, and uh, liar broods over how no, he's uh, he's lazy. He uh, he lies. Uh, he's uh, uh, he's an awful person. Uh, Da 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 da. At least was uh, was the kind one, and like, uh, and yet he was killed. By the way, was he killed? I I don't remember right now. I don't even care. Uh, so. Yeah. Also, the page after there's some side story that Melio Leona wanted to toss their Leon's brother Leo off a cliff because lions do that, and only really like take care of the ones that climb back because they're the strongest which actually is complete bullshit uh, yeah that does not happen at all lions are really protective of their young oh where is the uh uh where is that story is uh, is it uh, is it at it's the end like, the like last in the page, at least in my version uh it's like a one page thing uh, okay i uh, i don't have it but uh uh, alrighty then. I su I suppose. Uh, <laughs> uh, I suppose she she uh, she's from the Garp school of pa of parenting. I mean, I mean. Uh, yeah, 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 except she, she also exists. trying to put in some philosophical stuff that lions do this. I just want to make all be. No, they don't. You're a fucking idiot. Uh. Alrighty then. I, uh, I'm, know, wait, uh, I mean, I'm I'm now overall, waiting for the for the opportunity to to say uh, the millions always pay their debts. <sighs> Is that all? Shall we move on to uh, the Promised Neverland? Yeah, I mean there was much to talk about. It's just jerking off Mariona now again, showing how awesome and totally cool she is. Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean. She's a cool character to me. She, she's entertaining, but uh, but like, she, she's kind of out saying her welcome. Uh, it seems to me. Yeah, she used to be. I used to like her, but now that she's just coming in and saying I'm better than this main that who's introduced main villain of this arc right now, boom. That's so, just like you castrate the threat entirely without ever even giving us the illusion he might be tough. Yeah, th 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 that's just like uh, kind of. Uh, in Jojo Pod for if if you if you had Jotaro uh, come in at, at the end of uh, uh, just not at the end but but uh, at the beginning of every every single arc and uh, just solving every conflict because he's just so powerful 
and uh, oh, look how powerful he is. Yeah, 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 but we kind of have no tension right now. So yeah. Yeah, promise never land. Yeah, uh, let's move on to the Promised Neverland, uh, and that's chapter s 67. Oh, God, well, uh, I, I'm i not used to Promised Neverland having so many chapters. What is up with that? So we see that the newcomers don't realize the reality they're in uh, at, uh, at the start well, uh, before the music plays. So I yeah, guess... well, if you were just growing in a h normal house and then were just suddenly thrown here and said, hey, you have to run from demons, would you believe them? Yeah, but uh, fair enough. You, even even so, uh, I wonder what the exact process was. Uh, because from what I understand, the uh, uh, they had to be transported. Uh, um, I, I suppose the... I suppose the uh, the poachers might, uh, must have purchased them, and th then transported them into into their safari zone. I, I'm I'm gonna call it I'm uh, gonna call it that. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I think they said somewhere in the last chapter that that's what they do. They like these kids thought they were being taken to another foster home. Yeah, I'm 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 just wondering how it. Uh, how exactly this happens since we know that uh, that because of the promise uh, human hunting is illegal so uh, so uh, yeah well I, it's I, also I, mentioned that this is a hidden playground so maybe they do like black market deals like slip a slip some I don't know what the demons use for currency to some farm keeper and say hey would you give us a few under the desk uh, s s some some loaf of uh, some loaves of bread. I, I I imagine they pay in loaves of bread, but because this is lame is. In any case, it's nice to see Emma being a good re uh, a good leader. It, um, I I liked uh, some of her dialogue with with the with the little kids. Uh, with um, I uh, although I'm I'm still not sure about the character of the new kid. Uh, of. Emma's oh, you mean that partner. kind of weird-eyed one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, I guess it's a change from her interacting with Wei, so, so <gasps> it's it's kind of welcome to me. Uh, have you got a hiccup? Yeah, a little one. Okay. Uh, uh, sh shall I try to shall I try to scare you uh, d during the during the week recap of We Never Learn? Like you could do that. Without using any loud noises that will frown at me, scream and wake someone up and get then evicted and lose my job and ruin my life. Oh, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> is the hic is the hiccup gone? I don't know. It must be. I mean, otherwise I'm gonna lose everything. I'm gonna <laughs> die. Uh, alrighty then. So, uh, one, uh, what did you think about this chapter? I think it was pretty good, but I just don't know if I got much to talk about it right now. Yeah, I, uh, as as I said, I um, I liked Emma character Emma's characterization in this chapter. I like her inspiring uh, other people, uh, kind of uh, kind of uh, doing doing that, uh, doing like the Luffy uh, Luffy thing, uh, being an uh, inspiration, inspiration to the people she meets. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Hmm? It's also nice that she's right away thinking like a facts, like how many of them are there, how many of us are there, how often does this happen, so that she can formulate a plan. Yeah. So uh, she's already figuring out they can't hunt too many of us, or their stock will run dry. Yeah. The uh, the strategy the strategy element is certainly welcome in this. Uh, I, although, one moment is kind of funny to me, uh, when, uh, when she, when she says, uh, when she says, uh, well, uh, she says, she says that the, the demons, the demons are hunters, but, uh, and they are the hunted now, but she's a hunter too. So, uh, uh, so, oh no, this is, uh, this is, um, moral qualm, uh, qualm to her. But, uh, but she's a hunter too, but not like this! 
Not like this. Pokemon shouldn't fight. Not oh. like this. Oh. Love you, Crow, anymore. Uh, I don't know. Well, I d the I last panel is kind of interesting when that one demon whose name I kind of forgot is talking about Emma's not ready yet. Like, is he going to start killing those kids in front of him just to make her angry or drive her further or something? Yeah, uh, was, was it Bar Baron Lewis? Yeah, Baron Lewis. Yeah, Baron Lewis. Uh... I think this guy's gonna be pretty interesting going forward. Yeah, yeah. We we, we mentioned last time that, that uh, this certainly uh, seems an like an interesting antagonist. Uh, yeah, I I'm going to wait and see how how uh, how much we get out of this arc. But uh, I'm I'm definitely interested right now, at least more than I was uh, than I was before. So, uh, yeah, looking forward yeah, to the. We never learn, so we can get that over it, and I get to sleep. Uh, all right, all righty then. So, uh, we never learn. Chapter forty-three. Uh, so this manga has quite a special talent of taking these very basic romance manga tropes and making them seem quite charming and new. I really like Takamoto and Yuiga's counter dynamic. I like the gag of Yuiga constantly being preoccupied by the them trespassing on, on school grounds. I like the little ways in which the relationship slowly advances, despite it being a harem manga. So yeah, I, I thought that this was a solid chapter. How about you? Yeah, I didn't read it yet. I'm just going through it right now. Yes. Yeah, so so ba basically, we have uh, Takamo Takamoto uh, um, uh, said last chapter. Would you like to keep me company tonight? Oh, I wonder what this yeah, might be. Yeah, that's what I did read. This uh, one, and uh, and then then it turns out they're going to visit the uh, <laughs> the, the the old middle school at at night. Um, yeah, I'm already reading it right now, getting through it. Yeah, just just explaining in the meantime. Um, they are kind of rem reminiscing about um, about the past, uh, and yeah. Uh, at, at some point, uh, the death of Yuiga's dad uh, comes up as as they uh, talk about how they in, uh, inspired uh, each other to uh, to achieve their dreams. And uh, oh, okay, so this this is kind of awkward. So um, Yuiga has to come up with something to uh, to change the subject. But uh, okay, uh, Takamoto, confess to me right now. Uh, and yeah, uh, it, it's kind of a uh, they kind of try to pretend uh, uh, to have uh, uh, Takamoto pretend confess to him, uh, b but then then it turns into a real uh, a real confession. But Yuiga doesn't realize it. Uh, uh, she um, she has a flashback in, w in which she uh, she kind of uh, we kind of see as in middle school she mm, uh, she tried very hard to. Uh, she practiced in front of a mirror uh, how how to say um, how to say Narayuki um, or y Yuiga's name, uh, um, and and uh, she's kind of she's kind of mad uh, that uh, that Yuiga c can say Uruka so uh, so easily. <laughs> so uh, this also I I found kind of funny. Having gone through it, I also do like the moment when Yuiga talks about his father passing away around middle school. Yeah. I mean, that was one of the more interesting parts about him in the first chapter, and it hasn't really been touched again since. Yeah, it's um, this this chapter is is generally uh, full of those kind of uh, those kind of tender, inter interesting character moments. Uh, like, I also like the detail how um, uh, how to Takamoto's friends from the swim club swimming club uh, also also. Um, uh, also moved to Ich uh, to Ichinose High School with her just because uh, just because uh, she's moving because of Yuiga. Well, th this this kind of this kind of shows uh, how um, oh, uh, I did I didn't expect them to to be such close friends. Uh, this is kind of cool. 
Uh, yeah, and uh, wow. especially with the last chapter having uh, some focus on them. Well, if we're going to end it here, I just want to make one more mention before we call it a stream. Oh, uh, d uh, if uh, if you want to leave, uh, uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll I can do robot no, things on my own. But uh, yeah. Oh, I'll, you're still doing that thing. Yes, I. I I'm I'm just uh, basically doing what uh, a weekly manga recap did with Nisa Koji. Uh, just um, just uh, just briefly mentioning it, uh, just to see how interesting it. Uh, well, in their case, it, it wasn't that uh, they they were just finding it uh, too difficult to recap. But um, uh, just I'm just yeah. interested to get yeah, but how it's that, going to I just want to mention one thing I forgot when we were in My Hero that character popularity poll was once again held. Oh yeah, I I put it on the on the cover page. So what did you think of yeah. the uh, yeah of the choices? Well, I mean, Bakugo being number one again, no big surprise there. Yeah, um, is it just me or did Uraka drop a few points, which I wouldn't wonder. I'm I'm, I'm surprised that uh, Shinso made it uh, made it into the top ten. Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, there was that little reminder, and he is real cool, but he hasn't really done anything besides that one passing glance we saw at one point. I think the anime might have just boosted his popularity. Maybe. Uh, I'm no, not... Would it be really cool if we saw Shinso in this arc? Like, he was there to try and take the provisional license exam to somehow get on the hero course. I'm, I'm, I'm just... Yeah, it, it was... It would be kind of cool. I'm I'm just wondering... Uh, it's, it's a shame that, that we don't see a, a few more girls in the top ten, though. Um... Yeah, I mean... Who were in there the last time? Can't even remember right now when the last popularity poll was held. I'm gonna I, look this up. I th I think uh, I think that uh, oh the uh, the earbud girl. What was her name? Jiro. Uh, Jiro and uh, and Tsuyu w were in the top ten. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Jiro and Tsuyu were and back then. The Uraraka was tenth, so she's actually gone up a rank. Yeah. I get. Uh, I guess maybe, I guess maybe Japanese readers like her being a bit more passive. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just l sad that Momo didn't make it. Like she's my favorite female character of the series. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who mine is. I, I don't, I don't really know who, who my favorite character for, from My Hero would be. I guess, I guess it maybe would be Bakugo, j just because I was so so surprised at. How uh, how interesting a bully character can be, but yeah. And total favorite, I'd be on the tail. Though interestingly, All Might's not now lower than Aizawa. Uh, yeah. Oh, interesting. Uh, espe especially since Aizawa d didn't have a lot of screen time. Uh, well, well, may maybe in this arc, yeah, but but yeah, but but no, even so, he he wasn't. As involved as he could be. Yeah, still not complaining. I mean, I was a really cool teacher. Yeah, yeah. Uh, alrighty then. So, uh, just to briefly ca uh, catch up on uh, Robot Laser Beam. So this chapter reveals that the reason why why Robo was uh, playing badly was that he wanted Dorian Green to win because he was his friend and he was actually holding back. <laughs> Well, glad to see we had to eliminate tension from this conflict as well. As a, I guess not for nothing, we got to see Dorian Green whacking Robo across a tree, so, uh, against a tree. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, weak chapter to me. I, I, I didn't like that choice. So, um, that is gonna do it for this week of Summer Stream. Thank you all for watching, either on my YouTube channel or live at twitch.tv slash Chatter. And holy shit, I, uh, I now realize that uh, that caster didn't show up at all. Uh, oh, you don't now realize? Yeah, I uh, I, I forgot uh, that he was supposed to be on, but uh, but now I, I'm looking at the title image, so... Um, right then, so we usually try to record on Saturdays at 10am Eastern Standard Time, 3pm GMT, 4pm uh, GMT plus 1, although every few weeks we may move to um, uh, to Monday, to Tuesday, uh, and now Wednesday, uh, to let Grail in on the action. Mm. You can follow me on Twitter, at Winsley Cheddar, for updates on the stream, on Penganta, well-triggered, friendly faces everywhere, 
and many many other projects. Uh, oh, uh, um, I could mention the uh, inver uh, inverted uh, ah, inverted fate uh, comic dub. Uh, follow Milo at Hoven with an H for anime waifus, cabal hijinks, cabal cars, which is definitely coming, guys. Trial by Guilty Crown, a podcast he does with Caster, and Trial by Death Note, a drunkard he did with me. Uh, check it out, guys. You can find it on YouTube in the description below. Follow Grail at Nuclear Android for gaming tweets, uh, uh, work stuff, and world conquest. Uh, follow Dr. Nova and Jonah Let's Know uh, for the Danganronpa podcast, which you can now see on the Team ODAR main channel. Uh, also, he's writing a novel, and so is Caster. Um, um, anything to throw out there? No, nothing else. I'm just gonna go to sleep because I have to be at work in seven hours and twenty minutes. So, trying to get as many of these as I can in this time. Yeah, I um, m me too, probably, but because I've slept yeah. for four hours, uh, due to finally finishing probably my last uh my last adventure on the forum. So yeah. Okay. Well, it's gonna die out. Too bad. But can't worry about it now. I've gotta get even the six hours of sleep now that I can. Night. Oh, alrighty then. Uh, once again, cheers for watching, and we will see you next week. Take care.